Businesses continue to struggle as they wait for relief. And tonight, Fox 12's Kander Kent spoke to the owners of one Vancouver business who say they might have to close soon and the pandemic has pushed them into poverty. really tough for them. I did speak to two wives who own a hair removal business. They say they've been scraping by this entire time, but now they don't know if their business will survive into next month. Right now that they're hoping Congress will pass more aid legislation and they want people to know just how tough it is right now. For nine long months, the Marcells say they've had no choice but to keep their Vancouver business closed. When I work, I have to be this close with magnifying glass, this close to the person, six inch, in order to insert the prop in and to do it right. The couple owns Maya's Gentle Touch Electrology in Vancouver. It's a permanent hair removal service that requires close contact with clients who can't wear masks while getting hair removed from their faces. And Maya says she just can't take that risk. I'm in my mid-60s and I have a heart condition. So the family of four has been relying on the pandemic unemployment assistance. The couple brings in roughly $700 a week, but it's not enough to make ends meet. We own a home. So the bills never stop coming. We cut what we can, like cables and that stuff, but some things. Now in survival mode, the Marcells say they've borrowed money from family, maxed out credit cards, signed up for food stamps, and even sought out free pet food. It's a life they never imagined. Before we start our business, we both have a great job. We have a great income. They say they're sharing their story now for a very simple reason. They know their struggle is not unique. While us and many others with small businesses um, sit there and watch and we wait, you know, and, and we're on pins and needles about what legislation is coming through. Their message, Congress and the president need to do more and quickly. They blame a very political game and don't pay attention that this hurting millions of people. Now, as for the $600 stimulus checks that are coming and the $300 weekly payments, the family says, of course, that helps. But they say at this point, they are so deep in a hole that really, you know, they would need quite a bit more to get out of it. Now, on top of that, although their business is in Vancouver, the couple lives in Portland. And they say for that reason, they don't qualify for Governor Inslee's gap payments to help out in that time until these new checks start coming in. Reporting live in Vancouver tonight, Kendra Kent, Fox 12 Oregon.